Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another part of the Pokemon Leaf Green playthrough. In this part, we'll be taking on Sabrina's gym and heading off to Cinnabar Island. And I hate this gym. Also, once again, I have to go at it alone because just scheduling issues, we weren't able to all be here at once. And by all, I mean me and Nick. I'm almost certain that none of the trainers in this actual gym are mandatory, so I'll just be skipping past all of them. And no, the teleporters aren't randomized, and they don't have any sort of set path that you have to go in. By and large, well, actually entirely, um, each teleporter will send you to a set, well, different other teleporter. Like this teleporter will always send me this one. Mm, that this trainer may be a um, mandatory battle, but by the looks of the area, it doesn't seem so. Also, as they've mentioned a couple of times, yes, this is the Psychic Gym, which all in all should mean that it's the hardest one, <laughs> because Psychic types are broken. Well, at least in the first gen they were. It's really not all that hard a um, uh, gym in this generation. This is why I hate this gym. There is no way that you can know where to go unless you do process of elimination. And due to my pointless pride, I had to do all this without any sort of guide. So I hope you like the animation for teleporting. So we're going to be seeing it for a while. Uh, editing. What's that? Jesus Christ, that annoying stone that noise is starting to be annoying. Anyway, this might as well be a, as good a time as any to say that I actually um own a website called Mechas World. I'll leave a link in the description for it. So, in case you didn't know, yes, I do own a website. I do the occasional articles to do with just games in general. This has been about three minutes of nothing but this. I think I'm going to go insane because of that noise. So yeah, that guy mentions that the fighting dojo used to be... Pardon me. Used to be a gym. Until the psychics rolled into town and, well, psychic type is... Super effective against fighting types. So... You can imagine who won. Which actually makes me think that they basically walked in and, as like a gang and said, This is our turf now. Bugger off. The Pokemon universe is weird when you look into it.
So, how about that Dragon Ball Z Kai? Just this may just be me, but it seems kind of lazy that they're just basically recoloring some of the place, some of the portions of that of Dragon Ball Z, and then reprinting entire seasons of it. I also don't like that they cut out the entirety of the um the training montage between Gohan and Piccolo, and hey, we're finally the gym leader. I dislike battling, but I'm going to try and kick your ass anyway. And now we have Sabrina, who you would think would completely destroy me, but... No. This is easy. Just rape everything with flamethrower. Wait a second. She has a female Mr. Mime. Oh god. Oh god, that is just incredibly unnerving. I personally think that it should be a sort of, um, uh, Nidorino, Nidoran, I mean, Nidorino, Nidorina sort of predicament. Where if it's a female, it should be called um, Miss Mime or Mrs. Mime. And if it's male, it should be called Mr. Mime. Because when you get a female Mr. Mime, then it's pretty weird. And of course, there's the final evolution of um, Kadabra, our uh, Kazam. And you wouldn't believe how long it actually took me to figure out Abra Kadabra Alakazam. Ha ha ha. Very, very funny. See, what she just basically said was, I didn't try to beat you. So yeah, Sabrina's a bitch. And I believe she's the only one who doesn't tell you what the TM is that she gave you. Or maybe she did and I just forgot to check it. I don't know. But I hate this gym and I hope we never have to revisit it ever again. You know, unless we do a playthrough of Pokemon Gold, Silver or Crystal. And there's the obligatory person drag racing down my street. Wonderful. I really like that in gold, silver, and crystal. Well, I think. I think at least. I know they did in heart gold. Um, if you... Um, I'm trying to remember what it was. If you were in Sabrina's gym and you just beaten her, then there was a teleporter that would bring you straight back to the beginning. So, that came in handy. As you can see, there's only one town that we can't travel, well, two towns, technically, that we, can, that we can't travel to. One of them is Cinnabar Island, and the other one is the Indigo Plateau, which is the Pokemon, the Pokemon League, where we will face the Elite Four and the champion, whoever it is. So yeah, Pallet Town hasn't changed in the several months that you've been gone. I 
have to say it's fairly underwhelming that in this game you don't see anything change. Nothing really changes about this world. I mean, you beat Team Rocket, they disband. That's about it. Oh, well, something that I, I guess I have to bring up now is that later on, and I believe next part, um, they will reference that something will be introduced which reference references to gold, silver, and crystal, and to Johto existing. So they already know about Johto. So why doesn't Red travel there? It just doesn't make any sense to me. If I was on a Pokemon journey and somebody told me that there was an entire other like region full of trainers and gyms and new challenges and new Pokemon, then I'd be like, hell yes! I want to take this challenge as well. But no, Red is incredibly boring and decides that, you know, he's gonna become the champion of this Pokemon League. And then he's gonna and then he's going to go to Johto. But he's gonna get lazy, he's gonna get halfway over the mountain, and he's gonna stop. And he's gonna sit there at the top of the mountain for I think it's five five years yeah, it's five years. And just wait until somebody else gets lazy and stops halfway up the mountain. And by the way, um, you're seeing here the um, I'm using the move Surf to travel across water. Originally in Pokemon Red and Green in Japan, there was going to be an item called the Surfboard, which would allow you to do pretty much the same thing. So yeah, welcome to Cinnabar Island. Cinnabar Island is actually a volcano. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to tell by looking at it, but yeah, this entire island is volcanic. And interesting fact, in Gen 2, like Gold, Silver, and Crystal, which I've mentioned for about the fifth time now, this island has actually had an eruption and is now destroyed. And the um, seventh gym has been moved over to the Sea Foam Islands, which really, really caught me off guard. So anticlimactic. I mean, you get this thing so early in the game, and it takes until like the very end before you get it, and it's only level one, and pretty much useless. It's just such a letdown. I've never used Kabuto or Kabutops. Never have, never will. So we can't get into the um, gym, so we're going to have to head to the only other place in this island, the Pokemon Mansion. So yeah, um, back on the original Pokemon like red and red and blue on the Game Boy, this entire well actually no, if you put it into the Game Boy Color I believe, or you use the um, Super Game Boy um, add-on for the Super Nintendo, then this entire place, because of the floor texture, was complete and utter eye rape. It was just unappealing and samey and it just caused your eyes to just bleed. 
Of course I'm, you know, overdoing it a little bit. You get the point. It was disgusting. And no, I haven't planned out any of the, um, giving any of the, um, my Pokemon, like, proteins or carbos or anything like that. I'm just giving it to them because pretty much just out of randomness. I mean, if it increases its special attack or special defense, then I'm going to give it to Kadabra because he's a monster when it comes to his special defense. But yeah, we're coming to the end of the part, and... Wait a second. Oh god. You can't do that. You can't do that in a Pokemon game. You can't reference real, like, worlds, countries. You have to have regions. <sighs> Sorry, just a little bit of fanboy butt hurt. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time when we finish off the Pokemon Mansion and we face Blaine and his fire-type gym. By the way, spoiler alert, Cinnabar Islands is the fire-type gym.